Hello children, I am Shushmita and today with me is Hemalata and welcome back. Every day we hear sounds from various sources like birds, bells, machines, vehicles, television, radio etc. Our ears help us to hear the sounds produced at a distance. Learning Outcomes At the end of this lesson, students will be able to understand Introduction to Sound Propagation of Sound Characteristic of Sound Keywords Longitudinal Wave Compression Rarefaction Wavelength Amplitude Frequency Concept Map Sound is a form of energy which produces a sensation of hearing in our ears. Sound produced at a distance travels through air and reaches our ears to produce a sensation of hearing in our ears. Some sounds are pleasant to hear and some are not, but all sounds are produced by vibration of substances. These vibrations travel as disturbances in a medium and reach our ears as sound. The quality of sound also differs from one another. This is because sound has several qualities. Sound moves from the point of generation to the ear of the listener through a medium. When an object vibrates, it sets the particles of the medium around to vibrate. However, the vibrating particles do not travel from the vibrating object to the ear. A particle of the medium in contact with the vibrating object is displayed from its equilibrium position. It then exerts a force in adjacent particle. As a result of which the adjacent particle gets displaced from its position of rest. After displacing the adjacent particle, the first particle comes back to its original position. This process continues in the medium till the sound reaches our ears. It is to be noted that only the disturbance created by a source of sound travels through the medium, not the particles of the medium. All the particles of the medium restricate themselves with only a small to and fro motion called vibration, which enables the disturbance to be carried forward. This disturbance which is carried forward in a medium is called wave. A sound wave can be described completely by five characteristics namely amplitude, frequency, time period, wavelength, and velocity or speed. The maximum displacement of the particles of the medium from their original undisturbed positions. 
when a wave passes through the medium is called amplitude of the wave. If the vibration of a particle has a large amplitude, the sound will be loud and if the vibration has a small amplitude, the sound will be soft. Amplitude is denoted as A. Its SI unit is a meter M. Frequency nu, the number of vibrations, complete waves or cycles produced in one second is called the frequency of the wave. It is denoted as nu. The SI unit of frequency is s to the power minus 1 or hertz h z. The time required to produce one complete vibration, wave or cycle is called the time period of the wave. It is denoted as t. The SI unit of the time period is second s. Frequency and time period are reciprocal to each other. Relation between frequency and time period. Let us find the relationship between the frequency and time period. Let the time taken for new oscillations is equal to 1s. The time taken for one oscillation is equal to 1 by nu s. But the time taken for one oscillation is called the time period t and the number of oscillations per second is called the frequency nu. Hence, frequency and time period are related as t is equal to 1 by nu or nu is equal to 1 by t. The minimum distance in which a sound wave repeats itself is called its wavelength. In a sound wave, the distance between the centers of two consecutive compressions or two consecutive rarefactions is also called wavelength. The wavelength is usually denoted as lambda, Greek letter lambda. The SI unit of wavelength is meter m. The distance traveled by the sound wave in one second is called the velocity of the sound. The SI unit of velocity of sound is m s to the power minus 1. Do you know what is sonic boom? When a body moves with a speed which is greater than the speed of sound in air, it is said to be a traveling at supersonic speed. Jet fighters, bullets, etc. often travel at supersonic speed. When a sound producing source moves with a speed higher than that of sound, it produces shock waves in the air. These waves carry a large amount of energy. They produce a very sharp and loud sound called the sonic boom. The sonic boom produced by supersonic aircraft is accompanied by waves that have enough energy to shatter glass and even damage buildings. Points to remember. Sound is a form of mechanical energy which produces a sensation of hearing. If the particles of the medium move to and fro along the direction of propagation of the wave. The waves are called longitudinal waves. 
sound waves are longitudinal. The region of high density of particles in the medium during propagation of sound is called compression and low density regions are called rarefaction. The distance between two consecutive compressions or rarefactions is called a wavelength. The maximum disturbance of particles of medium from their mean position is called amplitude. The time taken to complete one oscillation of density in the medium is called the time period of a sound wave. The number of oscillations of the density of the medium at a place per unit time is called frequency.